Okay, so in today's math lesson, it was a tough one. We started talking about metrics and converting uh, metric units. Now, the first thing we need to do is have a decent understanding of the metric system and the chart and the units themselves. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is just build a simple metrics chart. Now, we need to know the units, so I'm going to list those as well. Here we go. So, uh, let's see. Let's get the middle guys in here. Let's do meters. And we also have liters. And we also have capacity uh, for mass, which is grams, a G. Okay, so typically we'll have three units to the right and three units to the left. Now, I like working with meters because, well, the kids are most familiar, I think, with meters. So as we go down, uh, we have the decimeter, we have the centimeter, we have the millimeter. Okay, and going up, we have the decameter. Okay, we have the hectometer. And then we have the kilometer or the kilometer. Okay, now the beauty of the metric system, it works on the same principle as our number system. It's a base 10 system, which means every column has a difference of 10. In other words, um, if I was to have 4 centimeters, that means I have 40 millimeters because here's a times 10. I need 10 millimeters for every centimeter. The same holds true for every, or is consistent for every one of the columns. I need 10 centimeters for a decimeter. I need 10 decimeters for a meter. I need 10 meters for a decameter. I need 10 decameters for a hectometer. I need 10 hectometers for a kilometer. Okay, now going the other way, so if I have 40 millimeters, that means I have 4 centimeters. Now here, going in the opposite direction, I'm going to divide by 10. So from here, I multiply by 10 for each column. And going the other way, I'm going to divide by 10 for each column. So everything multiplies or divides by a factor of 10 or a multiple of 10. Okay, so here we go, 0 0.4 now, 0 0.04, 0 0.004, 0 0.0004, and 0 0.0004, and that's kind of how it works. Okay, so if I was to look at the first problem here, I have 5 meters. I have 5 meters now. I'm going to put my 5 right in here. I'm going to use the chart a lot because it seems to work for me when I do. Um, so I have 5 meters. I'm looking for centimeters. I want this guy over here. Now, here, every time I jump one, it's going to be a times 10 because if I have 5 meters, that means I have 50 uh, decimeters, okay, because there are 10 decimeters for every one of the meters. And now if I go one more jump, that's another times 10, and that'll give me 500. Now, how does that look? Uh, another way, uh, as far as the place value chart is concerned, well, I can convert using the place value chart as well. So here we go. Let me build the, the, the place value chart we're used to looking at. Okay. I started with 5 meters. So I'm going to put my 5 right here. Here's my 5 meters. Okay. Here's the 1's place, right, and the 10's, and the 100's. Now we need to fully understand what's happening here. If I'm, if I'm jumping two columns, that's two sets of 10, that's all. That's, it's just like saying I'm going to take my 5 and I'm going to multiply it by 10 twice. Okay? And I'm going to get an answer. The same thing is true if I just multiply one by 100. Because 10 times 10 equals 100. Or perhaps I can say 5 times 10 to the second power. And if we put plot that on our place value chart, which means I'm going to gain one, two place values. I'm going to gain two place values. I'm going to gain, or that five is going to gain two place values. Here it goes. Here's my five, one, two place values. My five winds up here in the hundreds place for a total of 500. Okay, so over here, they want five meters times. I could put any one of the items in here. I could put the five, the 10 to the second power. I could put the 10 times the 10, or I can put the 100. It doesn't matter. Either way, I'm going to wind up with 500 centimeters. Okay, so there's two ways of doing it. I can plot it out on my metric chart here, or I can plot it out or show it concretely on my place value chart. Okay, either or, it doesn't matter. Let's take a look at the next one. Next one, we have 60 centimeters. So what I'm going to do here is get rid of my items in here. Okay, and I'm going to put my 60 centimeters in here, and now I'm looking for meters, which is over here. Once again, it's two jumps, but in this case, I'm going the other way. I'm going to divide. And why am I going to divide? Well, because the numbers, the value of the number is getting smaller. It's the same distance, but it's getting smaller because the units are larger. Meters are larger than centimeters, so the number has to get smaller. And every time I jump, 
I'm going to divide by 10. And why? Because there are 10 centimeters for every decimeter and 10 decimeters for every meter. So on a place value chart, what that's going to look like, okay, let me build a new place value chart here. Okay, I'm going to take my 60. I'm going to lose two place values, two sets of 10. So let me put my 60 in here this time. Okay, I'm going to lose two places. Here's my ones, right? Tens, here's my tenths. Here's my hundredths. And everything's going to lose two place values. So one, two, and one, two, right? Two sets of divided by 10. So divide by 10 there, divide by 10 there. And the zero, I'm going to divide by 10 here, and divide by 10 there. Six winds up here, zero winds up here. Here's my decimal, and I have 0.6. Okay, is an answer. Now, if I work that over here, of course, this would then lose a place value, so 60 would become 6, right? I divide it by 10. And once again, if I take that 6 and divide it by 10 again, I wind up with 0.6, so there it is. So two ways to solve the same problem. And here, I'm losing two place values, so once again, I'm going to have 10 to the second power, or 10 times 10, or I'm dividing by an even 100. All right? So that's the deal. That's how you work that metric chart. Um, again, base 10, everything's base 10. Multiplying by 10, losing place values, gaining place values. Um, each dig digit is shifting from one place to the next, um, gaining or losing a uh, factor of 10. All right. Good luck. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.